Hey everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we have the Rhinorak Sunseeker awning that is 8 feet and 2 inches long. We're going to take a look at how it fits as well as how we put it on our 2023 Kia Seltos. If you're planning on using your Seltos for some fun adventures, whether it's on the trails or even on the parking lot, maybe you're tailgating, you're watching a soccer game, or you're going camping out on the field, well, something that might help you out is an awning. This is going to be the Sunseeker awning, which is a square awning. That style is ideal for if you want something quick and easy to set up, but also takes up less space. We have the eight foot two inch long awning here, but this is also available as a seven foot awning. You do need a roof rack first to use this awning though. So notice how we have this, well currently the Thule roof rack and it has T channels up top. So the Sunseeker has this bracket. So instead of clamping around the roof rack, it clamps into the roof rack and this will work with pretty much any roof rack that has T track channels. Now for some measurements on how this fits off of the car in this position. First, it's gonna be the height. So where the awning is at its lowest point is six feet, right there at the bottom of that leg. And then for its highest point, with the legs in its highest position, we have it at seven feet. So there is some good incline there. The next measurement is the width you would add to the side of the vehicle. We're gonna go from our wheels to the pole and that's another six feet so still plenty of space to put things like chairs coolers hang out underneath the awning yes it doesn't cover as much as like the dome awning would or a 270 degree awning but for how easy it is to set up still plenty of shade the material is made of a ripstop poly cotton canvas that is uv mold and water resistant this being the Sunseeker, it actually has a 50 plus UPF. So kind of like how there's SPF for sunscreen, this has UPF to prevent the UV rays from coming down on you. Now, this won't provide 100% protection from the sun since you still have this open space around the awning. And because of that, Rhinorak still recommends using sunglasses, hats, sunscreen, clothing, etc. if you want better UV protection. Now you do have the option to get extensions though. So there are the Sunseeker extensions which create walls around. That way instead of just an awning, you can then create more of a room for more privacy, more shelter, more shade. Check those all out here at eTrailer if you're interested. And when you're done with using the awning, this does roll up to be more compact and it has its own case. Now this process can be done on your own, but I always recommend having a friend help you out, especially on extra windy days. Now I'm going to continue taking this apart so you can see what it looks like in its case. This is what the awning looks like all rolled up in its bag. And I really like where it fits here on the car because if you look over at the roof rack, there's pretty much all the space left over for a roof box or even some kayaks and other accessories. With its position where it is, it's not too much overhang on the front, not too much overhang on the back. We were able to move it this far back because the Seltos's hatch tapered towards the top. So versus other hatches where you are limited on space, this one creates a really good fit and positioning. The bag is made of a PVC material, which means it is waterproof. But what isn't waterproof is the zipper. So I recommend putting the zippers either towards the center of the awning or the front. That way it doesn't hit the hatch as it opens, but it is allowed to just dangle freely. This is probably one of the easier awnings to set up. It really is just two arms and two legs all stored within the awning. You do have the option of adjusting the height to pretty much wherever you want. Right about here is its tallest point. So you can see how it is taller than the vehicle. Good for if you need more headroom, but maybe it starts raining and you want to angle downwards, you can lower it. Also, if you want it lined up with your car's height, you can do that too. The options are there for you. 
This does include two guy lines and two stakes. If you are camped somewhere where there is soft earth, you can use those. If you're using this for tailgating in a parking lot on concrete, I do recommend either picking up some sandbags, we have some available here at E-Trailer, or using something heavy to anchor down those legs. Very important step when you're outside because the wind can carry your awning away if it's not anchored properly. So personally for this awning, I do see how helpful it is if you're looking for quick and easy awning to set up. Most square awnings are like that where you don't have to deal with tent poles or swinging it around the car. It's just four poles to deal with and suddenly you have all that shade. And I was pleasantly surprised to see how well it fit our Seltos. With this being a smaller SUV, the awning at first looks like it might be too large, but once we saw it on the vehicle, it wasn't that bad at all, and it provided all that other space to carry on all those other accessories. So for a quick and easy awning to set up, that also has accessories that can be added onto it, like extension walls, plus something that you know does fit your vehicle, this is a great fit for you. And that right there was a look at our Rhino Rack Sunseeker awning here on our 2023 Kia Seltos.